as IG, um, your predecessors, virtually every IG uh, in the last decade, two decades, one of the things they say is checkpoints should be abolished. They say so, and I personally have witnessed uh, the dismantling of some by the special squad attached to your office in some states. But then you, you come across others, and when, when someone in my position, for example, says, ah, what are you doing here? The IG has said no checkpoints. They say I should bring the signal that came from the IG that said so in some instances. Why is it so difficult for the order that comes from you at the very top to be implemented across board at the bottom? When an order is given from the top, it must be complied with. Anybody that doesn't comply with will have to face the music. Because police is a regimented organization. Instruction is given and you must carry it on. Um, no checkpoint. Up to today, checkpoints in terms of roadblocks are banned. Any police officer that engages in that is doing an illegal duty, and if he's caught, he will answer for it. What we have is, um, we call it stop and search. While you are on patrol and you suspect a um, group of people or vehicle, then you stop them, ask questions. If you want to search, if you think there's any incriminating item in the vehicle, search. If you don't see anything, they pass. But the idea of standing on the road and putting uh, uh, tires or putting sticks to block the road is no more. Anybody found doing that is committing an offense. And we have monitoring unit that goes around to check compliance. But we want also members of the public to help us check compliance. When you come to any um, place and you see a roadblock and not stop and search and no justification for it, video it and pass it. We have a complaint uh, office under the PRO's office. It's, it's online. You can video it and upload it there. The moment we see it, we will locate the place and take care of the, the rule, uh, or rule officers there.